Hello, this is the next video in a playlist that I'm calling Applied Multivariate Analysis. And we're in Chapter 5 part of this playlist, which we're calling Comparing Population Mean Vectors. And let's jump to today's topic, which is comparing two mean vectors. So let's do a quick review of the univariate two-sample t-test. First, uh, let's suppose we have a random sample of size n1 from IID normal random variables, mean, mu1, variance, sigma squared. IID stands for independent, identically distributed. We have a second random sample of size n2. IID normal random variables, mean, mu2, and uh, variance, sigma2 squared. The samples are independent from each other, and we assume that they have a constant variance, or equal variance, but unknown. And we want to test, are the two population means equal, or are they different? And to do this, we compute a pooled sample variance, like this. Now remember, S1 is the unbiased estimate of the population variance. So we divide it by n minus 1 to get rid of that denominator. We same, do the same way with population 2. Then we divide by n plus 1, you know, n1 plus n2 minus 2 to create an unbiased estimate for sigma. Now under the null hypothesis, this test statistic follows a t distribution with n1 plus n2 minus 2 degrees of freedom. We reject if our test statistic is too big. It could actually be too negative too big positive. And so and one way to do it, just say the absolute value is bigger than some value. And since it's a two-tailed test, we divide you know, alpha by two. Now the two sample hotelings uh, t, t squared test is this. So suppose we have a sample of size n1. Now remember, these are vectors. So each observation we collect p different pieces of information on that unit. And so they're multivariate normal, mean vector mu1, variance, covariance matrix sigma1. And we collect a second sample, not necessarily the same size. They're IID, multivariate normal, mean vector 2, sigma squared 2. Now, we, we as, again assume the samples are independent and the covariance matrix are equal, but unknown. Now, a requirement for hotel is t squared is that the sample size, the combined sample size, has to be big enough, has to be greater than p. And really, that's to make sure that our sample covariance matrices are invertible. They're not singular. And we want to test, are the mean vectors, population mean vectors, equal or are they different? And then we can show that the difference of our sample mean vectors is multivariate normal with mean difference of the mean vectors, mu1 minus mu2, with this covariance matrix. Now, we estimate sigma by a pooled sample covariance matrix, and it's this. Remember, S1 is a sample covariance matrix using uh, population 1 or sample 1, and S2 is the sample covariance matrix using population 2 or sample 2. And this is an unbiased estimate for sigma. Now, to obtain the t squared t statistic, we calculate this quadratic form, and it's a Mahalanobis distance. So, really, this, the numbers here, the n1 times n2 divided by n1 plus n2, this constant should really be uh, incorporated in that pooled variance. And so when we calculate Mahalanobis distance in R, you'll see that you have to bring that back into the sample covariance matrix. But this is it. This is Mahalanobis distance. So, um, <clears throat> but before I get too far, this has a distribution, what we call T squared or Hotelin's T squared distribution, uh, P, degree, uh, numerator degrees of freedom, sometimes just called the dimensions, and then n1 plus n2 minus 2 degrees of freedom, some kind, you know, sometimes denominated degrees of freedom. And we reject if this t squared is too big. It's greater than this cutoff value at, you know, at the alpha level. And since it's a Mahalanobis distance, t, the t squared statistic, now statistic means you know, calculated from the sample, can be viewed as a standardized distance between these two mean vectors. And so if the two sample mean vectors are too far apart, 
we're going to get a big t squared value. And it makes sense to say, hey, then the population means vectors are probably not the same. Now, a better statistic, and of course this is just my opinion, <coughs> is this. We take t squared statistic that we calculated up here. So a Mahalanobis distance, a standardized distance between the two mean vectors. We take it times this constant. And then it's distributed with an f distribution. Now, it's e if you take this constant times the the uh, critical value that we calculated, the t squared, that's also equal to f. But one reason we do that is because all statistical programs has f distributions that are built in. And so we don't have to use a book or a table to calculate those the rejection region with t squared. Um, now, a lot of books just provide this as the two sample hotel and t squared statistic. But it does have a nice feel of using this one, the t squared, because it's a you know it's a standardized distance between two mean vectors, so it's a nice geometrical feel. Um, let's look at an example. Now the data is from an FTP site, which is listed here, and I use a data file called T51 Site Data, and the data are four psychological tests given to 32 men and 32 women. Uh, you can look at Bill 1945 for this. The variables are pictorial inconsistencies, paper, form board, tool recognition, and vocabulary. I'm not 100% sure what each of those mean. <laughs> and the data will be partially listed in the R illustration below. Now, suppose we want to test the following hypothesis at alpha 0.05. You know, are the population mean vectors the same? Now, notice it's 1, 2, 3, 4. So P is 4. The dimension is 4. Each observation we collect has, it's a vector of 4 by 1. So are the mean vectors the same or are they different? Now, from the sample, we calculate the statistics. So the mean vectors and covariance matrices. And so here's the sample mean vector for population one, sample mean vector for population two, and the sample covariances. Now to do hotel and t squared, we need that pooled p-value for this statistic. Now, and basically I just got tired of typing numbers. <laughs> so I am like, eh, I'll show it in the R illustration. So we'll, I'll show you how to calculate this uh, uh, sample pooled estimate of sigma. So this is it. So this t squared, hotel two, hotel is two sample t squared is 97.6. The critical va can, uh, value can be found in the table, which is 10.6. And so we reject, right? The test statistic is way bigger than the cutoff value. Now, using the, I'm going to say, other statistic that I like better, <laughs> we get uh, 31.48. So we just take our t squared, 97, times this constant, and we get 31. Now the critical value can be found in the table, or use R, um, F, you know, which is 2. 2.527907. And so 31 is definitely bigger than that, so we reject the null hypothesis. So let's look at this R illustration, and we'll call our quits for today. So. I read in the data using the read table, and so I just I have the directory and then the name of the file. Now in R, the these slashes, and I always forget if it's a forward or backward slash. You have to have two of them because that's a command uh, function in R, and so it's expecting something afterwards for a command, and so you just provide it again. Then it says, oh yeah, you want that in the in the function, you know, in the directory name. Okay, so there's no header in this data file, so I provide names, gender, Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4, and if we look at a the head of Y, which means prints the first six rows of it, you get this. Now, the gender, are, it, you know, it, it consists of ones and twos, so somehow we have to create an indicator function that we can separate those out. So we let where.min equal, you know, y gender equal to one, equal equal one. And what this does is it cre creates a vector of trues and faults. Wherever there's a, a one, it's a true, and if it's a fault otherwise. And, and here, n1 and n2 
both have a sample size of 32. P is four, right, four dimensions. So we calculate the uh, sample means for population one. Remember, we're doing it for men. And we only want, we want the two, three, four, five columns. And this is it. Then we calculate the sample mean vector for women. So that says, you know, not women. And this is how you do it in R. And we and again, we want columns two through five. So this is the sample mean vector. And we want the covariance matrix for S, you know, S1, or the covariance sample covariance matrix for men. That's this the co sample covariance matrix for women, which is not men. In this in this the way that I programmed it here now to do the pooled sample variance we take you know in one times s1 into minus one times s2 and divide it by in one plus into minus two and that creates this pooled covariance made sample pool covariance matrix and then we calculate Mahalanobis distance so we have uh, y1 bar, y2 bar. And now notice that the constant is incorporated into the uh, variance covariance matrix. And we get 97.6. And that's what we got in the uh, up above. Now the test statistic. Oh, this, yeah, this is the second test statistic that I like better. You take it times this constant and you get 23.21. The critical region is an F. Now we want the right tail area to be 0.05. And so if we say, you know, the and but QF is a cumulative, so we want the left tail area to be 95. And then we get a critical value of 2.5. And then of course you can recalculate uh, the T squared critical value using this constant times F. Okay, well, I'm at 12 minutes. I'm going to call this video uh, done. So I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.